Hello folks, welcome back to Trend Top. Tesla's upcoming all-electric heavy-duty truck. Tesla's Semi is a heavy-duty all-electric truck program at Tesla led by Jerome Gulen. Tesla's former Model S program director and VP of Vehicle Engineering. Before joining Tesla, Gulen was an executive at Daimler, where he successfully led the development of the Cascadia truck program. The vehicle was first announced in CEO Elon Musk's master plan par Dukes. Here's the relevant part of the master plan. In addition to consumer vehicles, there are two types of electric vehicles needed heavy-duty trucks and high-passenger density urban transport. Both are in the early stages of development at Tesla and should be ready for unveiling next year. We believe that Tesla Semi will deliver a substantial reduction in the cost of cargo transport while increasing safety and making it really fun to operate. Tesla officially delayed the launch of its long-awaited Cybertruck this month changing the expected delivery date on its website to 2022. Elon Musk also added to better focus on these factories and due to the limited availability of battery cells and global supply chain challenges, we have shifted the launch of the semi-truck program to 2022. We're also making progress on the industrialization of Cybertruck. The futuristic pickup isn't the only vehicle Tesla fans have been waiting for. Elon Musk's automaker sells just four models currently, but it has grand plans to expand its offerings in the near future. A semi-truck and a supercar are supposed to arrive by 2022, and Musk has said an electric ATV and a $25,000 car and a van are in the works as well. We believe we remain on track to build our first Model Y vehicles in Berlin and Austin in 2021, the automaker said in an SEC filing this week. The pace of their respective production ramps will be influenced by the successful introduction of many new product and manufacturing technologies, ongoing supply chain related challenges, and regional permitting. To better focus on these factories and due to the limited availability of battery cells and global supply chain challenges, we have shifted the launch of the semi-truck program to 2022. We are also making progress on the industrialization of the Cybertruck. Here's where those plans stand and what those vehicles may look like. Cybertruck Tesla's Cybertruck caused a stir upon its reveal during a splashy event in 2019 and not just because its supposedly bulletproof windows shattered on stage twice. The pickup's unconventional design polarized onlookers, with fans describing it as a futuristic and daring and critics saying it looked like something out of a primitive video game. Yet the Cybertruck has attracted more than 500,000 non-binding pre-orders, according to Musk. It will come in three configurations, single-motor rear-wheel drive, dual-motor all-wheel drive, and tri-motor all-wheel drive and will offer up to 500 miles of range, according to Tesla. Pricing will start at $39,999, Tesla said in 2019. Roadster When Tesla revealed the new Roadster in 2017, aiming for a 2020 launch date, Musk said it will be the fastest production car ever made, period. Tesla claims the four-seat supercar will sprint to 100 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds on its way to a top speed of more than 250 miles per hour. Musk has also said he wants to equip the Roadster with compressed air rocket thrusters to boost acceleration and potentially give it the ability to hover short distances. Needless to say, a flying Tesla probably won't fly with regulators. Semi like the Cybertruck and Roadster, the Tesla Semi, the carmaker's Class A truck, has remained in vehicle development purgatory since it was announced in 2017. Tesla initially eyed 2019 for the big rig's launch but has pushed that date multiple times. In July, the company announced it wouldn't start production until 2022. Over the years, the prospect of a battery-powered tractor-trailer has attracted lots of attention from major retailers and shippers eager to spend less on fuel and maintenance. Tesla says the semi will eventually be fully autonomous, meaning that fleet owners could theoretically run trucks for longer hours and save on labor costs. Pepsi, Walmart, Anheuser, Bush, UPS, and FedEx have all placed reservations for the semi which Tesla expects will cost around $180,000 a model with 500 miles of range. $25,000 car 
Tesla has been steadily decreasing the price of its vehicles for years, but the EVs are set to get even cheaper in the near future. At the company's Battery Day event in September of 2020, Musk promised that a $25,000 fully autonomous Tesla would hit the market about three years from now. Musk has admitted to himself that punctuality isn't his strong suit, so it's fair to make that timeline with a grain of salt. But Tesla appears to be making headway on the plans. The company aims to complete a research and development center in China that will develop the budget EV by the end of 2021, Tesla China President Tom Zhu said in a February interview with Chinese media. Cyberquad The Cyberquad hit the scene as a last-minute surprise announcement during Tesla's Cybertruck unveiling and we haven't heard much about it since. Tesla hasn't discussed pricing, a launch date, or any specs. But some sleuthing by automotive journalist Bazi Tatarevic appears to have uncovered that the Cyberquad, at least the one shown during Cybertruck event, shares a platform with the gas-powered Yamaha Raptor ATV. Van Musk has floated the idea of a Tesla van more than once, most recently during a February interview on Joe Rogan's podcast in which he said it's possible the EV will have an array of solar panels on it. Before that, Musk has said on a conference call in January that it plans to build a van at some point, but that's been held back by a lack of battery cell supply. It's possible that a future high-capacity Tesla would be used to shuttle passengers along networks of subterranean roadways built by the Boring Company, a tunneling firm that Musk also runs. A San Bernardino County transportation official let it slip in June that the county is working with Tesla on a 12-person van for a future boring tunnel there. But Tesla hasn't officially announced any such vehicle. Musk leaned in on how difficult the Cybertruck would be, perhaps as a way to cushion expectations for its arrival in 2021. Cybertruck ramp will be difficult because it is such a new architecture, Musk said. It's going to be a great product, it might be our best product ever, but it does have a lot of fundamentally new design ideas. He went on to make the point that he has used as other vehicles have gone from prototype to volume production. Manufacturing is hard. At the risk of being repetitive, it's actually easy to make prototypes or a handful of small volume production, but anything produced at a high volume, which is really what's relevant here, it's going to move as fast as the slowest of the rough order of magnitude of 10,000 unique parts and processes. Tesla CEO is convinced that the plans could change when the new higher density 4680 battery cell design goes into production at Tesla's Gigafactories. A semi would use typically five times the number of cells that a car would use, but it would not sell for five times what a car would sell for. So it kind of would not make sense for us to do the semi right now, Musk said. But it will absolutely make sense for us to do it as soon as we can address the cell production constraint. While Tesla keeps waiting for the right moment to get its semi into production, competing companies have already started delivering their hydrogen-powered semi-trucks. For example, Hyundai delivered its first orders of hydrogen trucks to customers in Europe while preparing for a China and a US launch in 2021. Later this year, Toyota and its subsidiary Hino are expected to introduce their first fuel cell semi-truck in North America. At the same time, Heisen Motors, the U.S. spin-off of Singapore-based Horizon Fuel Cell Technologies, expects to deliver up to 5,000 hydrogen trucks and buses as of 2023. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.